Hey everybody, so it is dinner time with Marcella. What are we making tonight? We are finally making the crab cakes. Mmm, yes. So it calls for one egg, one tablespoon of mayo, and the seasoning. You fold in two cans of crab meat. Here it is. And then you put it in a muffin pan. The oven is ready and then you bake it for 15 minutes. I am also going to make the garlic aioli, the roasted garlic aioli. Um, it calls for a cup of mayo, but we're going to make half of that because that's a lot. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I am going to, in a bowl, first I'm going to take this out. Put it over here. Just some crab juice. Mmm, yum. And it says to whisk together one egg, one tablespoon of mayo, and the seasoning. Let's see. I gotta get my whisk. I gotta get my whisk. That is the one thing that I forgot. I think the magic Epicure Whisk is probably in the um, dishwasher, so we're going to use this one, the pretty pink one. I, I have already forgotten. I am using uh, mayo made with avocado oil, and I lightly sprayed, it's going to make six, so I lightly sprayed the two middle um, with some avocado oil. I like avocados apparently. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that would seem that seems fine, right? One tablespoon. Here we go. And and the seasoning. because then I won't be able to read it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. Smells like a crab cake. And let's see. Let's see what the ingredients are. Rice flour, onion, red bell pepper, chives, paprika, sea salt, mustard, black pepper, and cayenne. It is kosher checked, gluten free, and non-GMO verified. The, um, so it says that one crab cake prepared um, is gonna have 70 calories. Not bad, not bad. No sugar, three grams of carbs, um, 330 milligrams of uh, sodium, so about 14% of your daily, your daily, but uh, that's because of the egg and the mayo and the crab, I guess, because the mix only has 1%, 20 milligrams, so the mix has very little. So let's, let's whisk this up. party ends tonight and I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who ordered and um, if you're on the fence um, and, you know even the people who didn't order thank you for um, attending the party party um, it was my first one so I can't wait to have my own cooking class uh, Sonia and my mom are both going to have a party so um, my mom's gonna have an in-house, and so I'm just gonna have a virtual, so that I can um, I can uh, try my hand at both of them. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I have to, what I'm gonna make, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. They brought me this. Let's see. It just says fold in. Whoops. Doesn't say whisk like a crab.
crazy woman. It just says bold it in. Now it does say I can also pan fry these uh, for the crispy edges, which of course, mm, yeah. But try and be a little healthy here, right? Instead of pan frying, I'm gonna bake them. All right. You know what I'm gonna put in? I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon juice. What do you think? I think that's gonna be good. I'm going rogue here, people. Going rogue. But I mean, lemon juice, right? And those are those Meyer lemons, so yeah, that's gonna be mm -mm, delicious. Yep. All right. So now it says to evenly distribute it in six portions. Now I could have, of course, um, just made a couple, but um, yeah, I figure, you know, I'll eat them tomorrow. Also, it says that it's supposed to make seeds. Am I making them too big? Maybe the. Uh, because it says to use the, the Epicure muffin pan. And this one, this, this muffin, muffin pan is a little big, so. It's a big muffin. I like big muffins. So I'm gonna make five. That's how many we are going to make. I think that'll be fine. All right. So, let me show you. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven for Alexa. Start a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Roasted garlic aioli. And I showed this um, in my unboxing of my kit. And it is, the ingredients are, it's garlic. That's it, garlic. <laughs> so it is stir one tablespoon of blend to one cup of mayonnaise. I am going to use my handy dandy four in one uh, scooper. This is one tablespoon, this is one teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon. Oh no, it's time to do math again. So one tea, one tablespoon is three teaspoons. I don't just know this, I have a little chart up here. Um, so, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to uh, eyeball it here. What do you think that looks like? Half a two. <laughs> yep. If I need to put more, I'll put more. Yeah. 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 We need a half a cup of mayo. Oh, you know what I do want to get? Um, Epicure sells something, and it's called Better Than Mayo. And it is a, it's a powder, from what I can tell, it's a powder that like you can keep in the pantry and where this is not a half a cup, but it's, it's fine. Oops. Yeah. Um, and you just add, I don't know if you add water to it and it makes like a mayonnaise, like a fake mayonnaise. 
Um, so I think it's like a vegan mayonnaise. I don't know. But I'm going to definitely try that. I, I've heard good things about it. Let's see. Let's see. And then it says a splash of lemon. What do you think? A splash? Seems like a splash. And, you know, it would be very handy if I had my, uh, my whisk, my little epicure whisk, but it's dirty. What can I say? I use it. 